when it comes to morals, we don't ask men like morally, how do you feel about watching porn? How do you feel about paying for sex work? Like, because sex work exists because there's a market for it, right? The people who created the market is men. No one comes up to men and be like, morally, like, don't you think it's a bit strange? Like, no one comes up to men and be like, morally, like, morally, like, morally don't you think it's a bit strange? strange like, no one comes up to men and be like, morally, like, 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 for three days um, based on an arrangement. Like, morally, don't you think that's weird that, like, you um, bought a woman, a picture of a woman's tits for £500? Morally, morally, morally. Like, I feel like morals are something that are imposed on women to keep us in line. But I don't see being, men being held to a moral standard. But then you don't feel that me, men and women are equal, right? So then there's going to be different treatment. Do you not just feel like that's just the world that we live in, that there's going to be certain things that we can get away with as women? And that we're not, it's not going to be frowned upon, you know, sexually, we're allowed to be more free. And probably that's why a lot of men, maybe they should be with men, but they can't because they can't even, don't have the freedom <laughs> to fucking experiment. You get what I mean? Mm. Especially within the black community, like we can go, right, playlist. that's what I'm saying. Like we can go into the toilets and have a little, oh yeah, like, mm -hmm. or even like a, you can have a little kiss with a girl and no yeah. one's going to think. It's just a friendly kiss as friends. Right, do you get what I'm saying? So <laughs> even that, we get to yeah. experiment more. They don't. Mm -hmm. Um. So that whole idea of you know men get to do this, but we don't. Do you not? Do you not find it a bit contradictory because we're not the same? Because in one breath we will say we're not the same, but then you're. Do you get what I mean? I get what you're saying in the sense that like why do men have to be held? Why do women have to be held to morals and men aren't? For me, it's like because all of this is a mess. I make my own rules, and I don't <laughs> wait for anybody to um assign me um morality because that's done nothing for me. For me, it's about. Do I feel happy? Do I feel proud of myself? Mm -hmm. um, do I feel resolved in my decision? Okay, fair. Because as a woman, there's always going to be something that you will do that will be considered immoral. Yes. Even me, to... to be, and the thing is, sorry to interrupt, literally, I could be talking about giving head. When I used to talk about the basics of giving head Whoa, online, people would be like, eh, why are you talking? I'm like, I'm not even giving a demonstration. I just said I enjoy giving head. I haven't got a cucumber Nothing out or anything like, head, you know what I mean? You. And I'll be getting ripped. Oh, do you think your husband wants to hear you talk about this? And oh. so I get it. There's there's so many different levels of, that's what I mean, mm. of morals. Because what, someone look at me and what I talk and be like, disgusting. And then someone- see a man get told, do you think your future wife's going to like hearing every, you talk about how much you like eating pussy on Twitter? Right, we're going to be like, green flag, green flag, <laughs> if he was saying that. Right. We'll be like, yes, sir. Let's bury <laughs> you in time. Values. This, None. this is a clear example of the values. There's so much going on in there, bro. I don't even know what's even to comment on. You know what I mean? Like, it looked like it, it was trashy to me. You know what I mean? And it's a big difference. The reason why it's different for men and women is because a man actually has to do work in order to get sex from a woman. A woman, that is your value. You're born with it. You don't have to do much in order to get sex from a man, but say, okay. That's why men have to sometimes buy it because they can't just go out and readily get it if they want. Whereas a male prostitute, if, if, you, uh, if you a gigolo, bro, you're not getting paid like a woman is. Plain and simple. The value is just not the same. That's that. Right, Shan. Listen, <laughs> I guess it depends on who you're trying to get it from, because obviously she don't mind just giving it. I mean, obviously you can get it, but I guess you should have standards by who you're getting it from, you know, because no woman is going to just get up here and be like, oh, you can get it and you can get it and you can get it. And I should be able to just give it to all of y'all, you know, <laughs> like, so, yeah, you can get it from somebody, but look who you're getting it from. You're going to always find an exception to the group who doesn't mind giving it to you. But do you really want it from that person? Like, of course, you don't have to work hard for it. Everybody got it. I, I'm not understanding. She's not the, I, I hate when people feel like she's the norm. She's not the norm. She's poked, uh, she's plastered everywhere because everybody who's just like her is, you know, they don't mind putting it on the internet. But Look, I, don't, I don't think that they're the majority. I think most women are not just out here giving their box up to anybody who wants it. You understand what I'm saying? You will find somebody who's willing to give it up and usually they are on talk shows with bunnies on their head. You know? So, <laughs> sorry, but I'm not. <laughs> so, not that all shit was distracting. We, 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 gotta, we gotta pay attention to the- Why you make a king like that? 
leave a man's bonnet alone, man. <laughs> I mean, her makeup was just a good beat in her bonnet. I didn't understand that. But man, but Shan, but the the <laughs> the issue is, is that in in and there was a show that you guys had talked about this before how how uh rap music is or isn't influencing the black community the the problem is is that this rhetoric is influencing the black community so it, it, nobody can influence you there's no amount of influence that's gonna make me open my legs up to every man who come and blow on my shoulder that i don't care that's 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 you that's <laughs> that's that's you but what I, that is that, me but right, are, well, let, let me finish let me finish so the problem is is that with social media media being so influential and there are a lot of people that have that are weak-minded that's out here they're weak-minded they're bitter they're they're uh full of hate they, they have all of these issues and they're listening to what this woman is saying and they're like you know what that makes sense uh just like chanel's friend Oh man, she got a little bit of a little taste of the dating life. Now, now she's ready to go out, break up a marriage, and go home. You know, it, it's it's one of those deals where this is all being impacted in in some way, shape, or form. So the more that this conversation is being pushed out, yeah, it may not influence you now, but who's to say it won't influence you five years down the line? All right, let me get let me get one two three cookie in there. Let me check on brown sugar. Is there a, a question being posed here? I just hear a lot of because I'm I came in late. I, I I'll take accountability for that, but like no, it's not it's not a question. We basically was talking about DDG and uh, their relationship basically fumbled. Um, he put out a statement about what men should do at an earlier age, but it didn't look like that's what happened with him. And then it transitioned from talking about morals and. Who needs to be accountable when it comes to opening their legs or planting their seed? And then I just played this clip oh, that you see right now, okay. so adding all in together. All right, so I got I got some for that. Uh, I think there is a such thing as male whores and female whores, and if you're not a whore, don't don't mess with one. Let the whores mess with the whores, and let the people with morals stay be mess with each other. Because what what yeah. I hear is a lot of women 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 and some women will be like men 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 when in reality it's just a group of people male and female she he theirs it's whatever they identify as out there um giving it up to everybody so the way i feel <laughs> about it is if you can just avoid that if you're not that person avoid that group in your circle and if you are that person please leave us alone that's i mean it's easy i mean we kind of over dissect things sometimes if you're not a hoe man or female and yes men can be whores they get this called dirty d it's called dirty what? dick right you can be a man whore you can be out there messing with everything that open their legs and you can spread diseases you can be, get, give women bv there's so many things that could go on so there's dirty dicks out here just like there's dirty peas so i just say of uh, uh, you know vet and uh, and get to know people and make sure and keep your your foundation and your morals the same don't don't slip up because you think you like somebody 